Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Monica Garcia reveals House of Villains Season 2 role. It's been nearly two years since the chaotic RHOSLC Season 4 reunion when she was ultimately fired. But now, Monica Garcia is ready to make her reality TV comeback. The reality star recently took to social media to announce that she is heading back to TV. Specifically, she will have an important role in the upcoming season of House of Villains. She won't be a contestant on the season. But Monica has instead been tasked with being the voice of the house. This means she'll be using the intercom to help the contestants through challenges in the competition. And if you thought you knew me from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, think again, Garcia equipped. Because this time, I'm not just stirring the pot. I'm narrating the whole damn show. It's unclear whether or not her voice will just be used, or if she will be making physical cameos throughout the season. Only time will tell. None of her former RHOSLC cast members have responded to her announcement. The only Bravo Liberty who has congratulated her so far is Kiki Barth from RHOM. Despite a chaotic fourth season of RHOSLC, fans are stocked to see Monica coming back to TV. In the comments section of her IG post, fans shared their excited for Garcia's return. And some pointed out the not-so-coincidence of the timing of her reveal. Here are a few of the comments. Announcing this on the SLC premiere night is perfect to lull. Somewhere Heather Gay and Lisa are punching walls that you're winning. I'll definitely be tuning in. Would love to see you as a contestant for season 3. Fans have been pitching for Monica to compete on HOV since its premiere season. And if she has a pleasant experience in season 2, maybe she would give it a go for season 3? If another season gets green lit, of course. House of Villains isn't a Bravo show, but it's on E!, which is a sister company. This means that Monica isn't fully fired from the entire network, and a return as a housewife isn't completely off of the table. In fact, Garcia once revealed that Bravo wanted her to come back for this season of Salt Lake City, but her former co-stars weren't up for her return. They actually tried to bring me in toward the end of the season for season 5, and you can thank a couple of motherfuckers for threatening to quit if Bravo brought me back, she ranted. Bravo hasn't confirmed her claim that they asked her to come back. Monica Garcia the TV personality best known for her dramatic appearances on reality shows is said to take on a whole new role as she joins the cast of House of Villain Season 2. Known for her fiery personality, sharp tongue, and a knack for stirring up conflict, Monica's involvement in the series promises to bring more chaos than ever before. With the show becoming a cultural phenomenon after its first season, all eyes are on what Monica will bring to the table. And if her past is anything to go by, it's going to be explosive. In a recent interview, Monica revealed not only her excitement, but also some juicy details about her character arc, alliances, and strategies. A villain or victim? When asked how she felt about being cast as one of the villains, Monica laughed, I'm not just a villain, I'm the villain. I've been called a lot of things in my career, schemer, manipulator, even Puppet Master, but now, I finally get to own it. Monica hinted that her villainous role on the show wasn't just about throwing shade or stirring drama for the sake of entertainment. She sees herself as a more strategic player. This season is going to show the difference between being chaotic for the sake of chaos and actually being someone who plays chess while everyone else is playing checkers, she said confidently. You're going to see me outmaneuver people in ways they won't see coming. Though Monica has been painted as a villain on previous shows, she's quick to point out that the title isn't one she's taken lightly. I know people have called me a villain before, but on House of Villains, you don't just get handed the title, you have to earn it. And let me tell you, I've more than earned it. Strategy over Scandal Season 1 of House of Villains was known for its cutthroat environment, 
where reality stars faced off in competitions designed to test not only their physical abilities but also their mental game. Monica revealed that her strategy going into season two is different from what people might expect from someone with her reputation. A lot of people come in thinking they need to be loud or throw the biggest tantrum to get noticed, Monica explained, but that's not my style this time. Sure, I can get loud when I need to, but why scream when you can whisper in someone's ear and plant the seed of doubt? Her approach for season two, she explained, would be more cerebral, focusing on mind games and manipulation. I'm coming in with a game plan. I'm going to let them think they're winning, let them feel comfortable, and then I'll pull the rug out from under them. Unlikely alliances. Monica teased that one of the most intriguing aspects of her time on the show would be the alliances she forms. Alliances that no one would see coming. You're going to see me team up with some surprising people. There are a few cast members you'd never think I'd align with based on my history, but sometimes the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? She said, with a sly smile. She refused to name names but hinted that some of the alliances might go against fan expectations in a big way. Let's just say, not everything is as it seems. People might think they know what I'm up to but they have no idea. I'm always 10 steps ahead. Drama with a purpose, for Monica. The drama she stirs up in House of Villains isn't just for the cameras. In fact, she views her behavior as an art form. People love to watch conflict. They're addicted to it. But what they don't realize is that not all drama is created equal. There's drama with no substance, and then there's drama with a purpose, she explained. Monica's brand of drama has always been more strategic, and she's made it clear that every conflict she stirs in season two will serve a greater purpose. I'm not out here to start fights just to make noise. Everything I do has a reason behind it. If I'm pushing someone's buttons, there's a bigger plan at work. Getting personal. One of the more surprising reveals in Monica's interview was how personal the show would get. Unlike her previous reality TV stints, which focused on social dynamics, House of Villains will delve deeper into the contestants' personal lives. And Monica hinted that her own story might come into play in unexpected ways. I can't say too much, but let's just say there's a reason I'm called a villain. I've been through some things that hardened me, and this season, you might see a little of that backstory come out, she shared her voice dropping to a more serious tone. There's always been this narrative around me that I'm cold or calculating, but people don't see what's underneath. This season, you'll get a glimpse of why I am the way I am. But trust me, it's not going to make me any less of a villain. Ready to win. Ultimately, Monica's goal on House of Villains is clear, she's here to win, and she doesn't plan on taking any prisoners, this isn't just a game for me, it's a war, and I don't lose wars, she said confidently. As fans eagerly await the premiere of House of Villains Season 2, it's clear that Monica Garcia is ready to bring her A-game. With her strategic mind, ability to manipulate situations, and her unrelenting drive, she's set to shake things up in ways the other contestants won't see coming. People better be ready, Monica warned because I'm coming for the crown, and if they're not careful, I'm going to leave a trail of destruction behind me. The fans react. As soon as the news broke about Monica's casting, social media lit up with fans, both celebrating and dreading her return to the reality TV spotlight. Some hailed her as the perfect villain, while others expressed concern over what kind of chaos she might bring. But if there's one thing everyone can agree on, it's that House of Villains Season 2 is going to be a wild ride, and with Monica Garcia in the mix, anything can happen. I've always said, you can love me or hate me, Monica said with a wink, but you'll never forget me.